So how's this changed, um, if at all, kind of your perspective on life in America, uh, what, what what you see in the future, politics? I mean, how, how has this changed the way you kind of approach the world? Well, it's uh, so, you know, it's made me uh, well, that's an interesting question, um, you know, because I've, I've been viewing it primarily through the lens of how to advocate on behalf of Israel in this war and things of this sort. Um, so it, you know, it has made me, I think in a certain sense, you know, take less for granted what we have in this country. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, as I mentioned earlier, this comment by Barry Weiss that really resonated with me when I heard it, which is, you know, that Jews in America felt for like 50 or 60 years that they had finally escaped history um, and that that was a mistake. I mean, and now we as objectivists already get that because it's about ideas. It's about ideas drive cultures just as much as they drive individual uh, lives. And so, of course, it could happen here. It could happen anywhere. Um, but you got to you got to. Well, gotta, Leonard predicted it in ominous parallels, right? I yes, mean, yes. And we're seeing many aspects of that, those predictions oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Coming, coming to light. And so, but, you know, but Israel's on the front line. Uh, I mean, this is, this is the front line of exactly this clash of, of, of ideas, uh, uh, you know, in military conflict and in savagery. Um, and it really kind of brought that home in, a, in just a profound way. I mean, um, the, you know, I've written some essays on Facebook that are accessible to the public about you know, what I saw, you know, but a kibbutz near Oz where they had 46 people murdered, children, people burned alive in beds, um, 76 people taken hostage. I mean, you could still, I mean, the stench of death was still strong in the air nine months later. Wow. I mean, wow. in the, because they, they, put, they had 46 dead bodies and they didn't know what, I mean, so they put them all in the walk-in refrigerator in their dining hall, and um, and you just you you you, you within a hundred feet of that dining hall, it's it's death. And I mean, you, if you, anyone smelled that, they know what that smell is, and it never leaves you. Yeah. Um, and just to see the bullet holes and the burned-out buildings, and to hear the stories of what actually happened um, from the people who survived, and um, you know, and just to you know. Yeah, you know, I look in the dining hall. They have all these little posters of the people who were killed and the people who were taken hostage. And you know, and I just looked down at one moment, and on the table there are the two posters. And one says, you know, this little boy, five and a half years old, killed. Yeah. And another was a six-year-old boy killed. It, just, it is crushing. I that you know, I I I, me I mentioned this in my in my essay or in the essay one of the essays I wrote. You know. We studied the Holocaust. We studied atrocities. What happened? You know, the, the killing fields in Cambodia. But to see it like that, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 to see the videos of the people doing it and their joy and, and glorification in it, um, it just makes it so much more real. What what we face and the value of what has been achieved in America. I mean, really what, when we talk about America being this, this beacon of freedom, this beacon of reason, this, 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 you know, I, everything Ayn Rand talked about when she said, you know, I, that she's not religious, but she gets down on her, on a knee, thanks the founders for what they created in this country. Um, you know, it, it was, it's all, that's all a hundred percent very much more real to me in a way that it wasn't before. And and at the same time, does it make you more afraid of what's happening here? Uh yes. Uh yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, so I mean, well, especially, I mean, just the 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 glory, I mean, it was especially with the protests and the lack of response to the protests by the government, you know, uh, you know, the the outright, you know, vi the the protesters, the, these pro-Hamas, and I've always been calling them pro-Hamas activists and Absolutely. protesters. They're not pro-Palestinian. They're not the peace. I mean, they're pro-Hamas. You know, they they've been they they've been you know engaging in trespass, vandalism, uh, harassing harassment. You know, attack physically assaulting Jews in the streets. I mean, the the morbid joke now is you know people keep saying to me, "What was it like in Israel? Did you feel un unsafe?" And I said, "Well." The joke is actually it's safer to be a Jew in Israel right now than it is to be a Jew in New York City. 
Um, it's not yeah, really but maybe for a few more days. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, at least in the, we never were in the north, right? We yeah, I mean, you know, my yeah. family's all in the north. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's yeah. Rough. Um, that's why we didn't go to the north because of that. We stayed yeah. in, the, in, the, in this in the, in this in the middle in the south. But um, uh, and um, you know, and so it's and w I've been calling the modern brown shirts because uh, they are. You know, they they are they they they've embraced as Dr. Peikoff had described so eloquently in the ominous parallels. You know, the same idi nihilistic ideology, and they're acting on it. And they're not, and just like in the 1930s in Germany, they, you know, they're not. You know. The our, our officials either at worst agree with it or B are are morally disarmed mm -hmm. and, so that they don't feel like they can step in and arrest these people. And you know, we and we've seen like reports like, oh, like they arrested the protesters, all of those protesters in Colombia. Every one of them was let, let go without charges being pro uh yep. you know, and and even when Netanyahu was here and, you know, we, they were rioting in the streets and it literally physically attacking police officers. There's, they videoed themselves just like the Moss. They videotaped themselves physically attacking police. Officers. Every one of them has been let go with no charges pressed. Yeah. I mean, and so all of that does, I mean, that emboldens them just like it, you know, and, it, you know, because they, you know, I'm right. I, you know, my advocacy for this nihilism is right. And there's nothing to oppose me. Yeah, I know it's uh, it it really is it really is scary out there, um, and the numbers. I mean, there are quite a lot of them. Although you know, I I I I was I'm hardened by by the response of some of the alumni, and as you said, they've woken up. I think if Americans wake up, they they reject it. So I don't think we're on the verge of becoming Nazis, but uh, it is scary that such a large percentage, particularly of students, are like this. Yeah, well, and you know, and as Dr. Peikoff details and explains very, you know, uh, clearly in his in his book, um, that the Amos Perlos, you know, it comes from the universities. You know, it comes from oh, the yeah. intellectuals. It can't, you know, the universities played a huge role in the 1930s with the Nazis, and yep. um, and 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 we're and you know, and this is again all a unfortunate confirmation of Ayn Rand's you know insight that ideas are the drivers of of cultures and of, of individuals' lives. Um, and it's the ideas that these people are learning in their schools. You know, they've been taught, you know, that America is evil and that. And, and, you know, and Israel is a representation of Western civilization is evil as well. And they should all be wiped off the face of the earth. Yeah. And they don't, they're not, they're not afraid to say that out loud in the streets of America. It's, it's pretty stunning. They, they spray painted on the Columbus monument outside a union station. Hamas is coming. Yeah. And nothing can, yeah, and they will be the first ones uh, to yeah. be, you know. So, I mean, that's part of the thing. It's it's the it's the uh, what gays for Palestine uh, yeah. insanity of of, uh, but but that's what intersectionality does to you. It it it's completely divorces you from reality. Yeah, yeah, and you know, and I am, and like you said, it's hopeful that some people are waking up. Some donors have said, you know, I'm not giving money anymore to Columbia and yep. stuff like that. But, you know, a lot more of that has to continue. Um, people really have to start, and, and and parents have to start saying, you know, I'm not sending my kids to college if this is what you know they're going if this is what Absolutely. they're going to become. Yeah, Absolutely. there there's a there was a co there's a comic that's been shared around on the, on social media i'm sure you've seen it where it's it's two parents with their college kid at dinner table and the in the and the kid is dressed in a nazi uniform and the parents are saying that the and the, and the caption of the comic is the parents are saying um your mother and i are concerned about what what co what, what college is turning you into <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> concerned <laughs> absolutely yeah i mean i'm finding it difficult to get any campus to let me come and give a talk on israel yeah because you know they they won't they won't they won't pay for the security, so they, they and, and they just don't want it. They they don't want the hassle. I mean, and yeah, I it, and it's shocking what's been happening. I mean, I I assume you've talked about this in your show and, and other things like when the, when the when the pro Hamas activists took over UCLA, they actually took over buildings, you know, campus mm -hmm. buildings, and they were checking student IDs. 
Yep. And if you were a quote Zionist, which is their code word for Jew, they weren't they weren't allowing you into the building. Yep. I mean, this is straight. <laughs> I mean, there's there's photos of brown shirts blocking buildings at University of Hamburg and <laughs> University of Berlin, you know, for not letting Jews enter. I mean, this, it's it, it would be it would be funny if not that this is that we're talking. These are life or death issues for both us and our culture and our society and our children. Yeah, there's no no question.